Another day with over 7,000 grocery store employees on strike and tonight still no deal between King Supers employees and their parent company Kroger. Employees picketed for the fourth day in a row as the union and the company sat down to tackle disputes over pay and labor practices amid the pandemic. Tonight, the union tells us no progress was made today. CBS 4's Marissa Armas is out where those employees have been picketing for days now and Marissa, now some community groups are joining the line. Yeah, today marks day four of the King Super Strike, and those who are actually here on the picket lines today just left, and they say that they're not backing down until the company starts listening to their needs. Up, up with the Marching on the picket lines in unity with the King Super's employees on strike. We're here to support these workers who have been so essential during the pandemic. The Party for Socialism and Liberation of Denver is one of several local organizations standing in solidarity with the union workers asking for better pay and more safety precautions, such as pandemic hazard pay. They've done it with not a lot of protections and not a lot of support. And now, you know, they're here facing their benefits being actually downgraded, their health care being downgraded. And, you know, as a community who, you know, really depends on grocery workers, you know, we have to to stand with them and say we're not going to allow that. James Borsi has worked at the King Supers off of Corona 9th for eight years. He says he hasn't made a livable wage since he's been with the company. We can't afford to support a family. We can't afford to buy a car. We can't afford to fix our teeth while they are making record profits. On Saturday, negotiations continued between King Super's representatives and the UFCW Local 7 Union, but no deal was reached. A company spokesperson said in a statement, quote, the company hopes that they will come to the table ready to make progress and do what's in the best interest of their members. But tonight, James says they'll continue to strike until their demands are met. This is corporate greed at its, at its height, and they need to start paying their employees fairly and justly. In a statement, the president of King Supers, Joe Kelly, said the F, the UFCW continues to distribute fear over facts that only create uncertainty for everyone. Our associates deserve to have their voices heard and the opportunity to vote on what's best for them and their families. Let them vote. And we'll continue to cover this strike as it continues. In Denver, Marissa Armas covering Colorado First.